Hey everyone, Professor Hank here. So today we're going to talk about abstract base classes and pure virtual functions in C++. So the big concept with these two things is the following. You know, you cannot create an abstract base class, but you can create other classes that are derived from it. A pure virtual function is what? It's a virtual member function that belongs to a base class and that needs to be redefined in derived classes. And when a class has a pure virtual function as a member, that's what makes it an abstract base class. So there are times when you're going to want to guarantee that any derived class from a base class is going to have certain members. So if you want to do that, that's where this whole idea of pure virtual functions and abstract base classes comes from. So let's go ahead and create a base class, which I will call class foo. And this is going to be an abstract base class. So a base class, and we're going to make it abstract. And remember what makes it abstract is that it's going to contain at least one pure virtual function. So at least one pure virtual function. So we will have as part of its public interface, we'll create a pure virtual function. And the way you do that is you put in a function prototype virtual and then void. And then we're going to make this little print function. That's going to be a pure virtual function and you assign to it. This looks weird, but you assign to it zero. And so when you do that, that is going to make this an abstract base class. And it also guarantees that this class here cannot be instantiated. So if I was to try to do foo F for example, okay, see the red squiggle there that is letting you know that no, you can't compile this. This is a abstract base class. So it only exists to be derived from. They only exist to be derived from. So anything that is a foo is going to have to override this. All right. So anything that is a foo must override function print. So let's see an example of that. And we'll just create this class named bar and we'll add to its public interface an overridden version of the print function. So we'll do something like virtual void print const and we'll just do a C out statement. So we'll do something like C out. I'm a bar class. Okay. Now, once we've done that, then we can instantiate an instance of bar. So we can say bar B and then we'll run the uh, print function. And let's make sure that we provide our class access specifier and we are inheriting from class foo. So bar is a foo and we've overridden the print function. So when we run this, it's going to compile and run just fine. Now, if I hadn't overridden the print function, then bar will not compile because it itself becomes an abstract base class because it inherits this pure virtual function. And since we didn't overwrite it, then bar is also, or remains, it becomes a abstract base class itself. It must override the inherited pure virtual function in order to work. So let's go ahead and test it. So it says I am a bar class. So any class that is going to be derived from class foo has to override that print function. So we could do class spam public foo. Now a spam is a foo. So it's going to inherit that pure virtual function. So it's going to be required that we overwrite it before we can instantiate a spam. So see out I'm a spam class. And so then we will instantiate a spam spam s and then we'll do s dot print and then you're going to see that that works i'm a spam class now, a quick note here in my example i only made an abstract base class that had a single pure virtual function in it and nothing else there's nothing stopping you from mixing you can do that so you can include variables you can have other concrete functions that are fully defined and all of that and still have a pure virtual function in that class. And so long as you have at least one pure virtual function in your class, it's going to make an abstract base class, no matter what else is in there. You can also have multiple pure virtual functions as well. And any combination that you need based on the requirements of your project. And let's take a look at another example here. Let's say that I did class eggs and 
I did public foo. So an eggs is a foo and as part of its public interface, I don't add anything. If I don't add anything, then I can't instantiate eggs because eggs is an abstract base class, abstract base class. It inherits the pure virtual function from foo. Now I can create another class called bacon and I can make bacon a drive class of eggs. And if I do that, I'm going to be required to create an overridden version of that print function because since eggs is a foo, eggs inherited this pure virtual function. So if I make bacon derived class of eggs, then bacon is a eggs. But since eggs is a foo, bacon is also a foo. And therefore it's inheriting this pure virtual function. So I need to overwrite it in class bacon if I'm going to instantiate an instance of class bacon. So we'll do that right now. We'll do virtual void print const and then we'll do see out I'm the bacon class. Then I can come down here and I can instantiate an instance of the bacon class and then I can invoke its print function and you're going to see that that's going to work just fine. Okay. So now you know how to work with abstract base classes and pure virtual functions in C++. Thanks for watching.